play? What's the process? I start my game. I adjudicate. When something's illegal that I know is illegal, I put a whistle on the play. Straightforward, right? If my partner has something and comes in and says, hey, 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 I have a violation on the play. That's great. But if we don't have anything on the play, I'm going to put that play into my memory bank and I'm going to say, after this game, I'm going to go look this up. Something funny happened in my game. My reaction was to not put a whistle on the play, even though there may have been some energy on the bench or what have you, because I did not know that it rose to the level of illegal. That's my fundamental process and principle. If I do that, I'm going to be successful. Now, a play occurred in my game, and I got it wrong. This should have been a violation. I did not know that. I go back. I look into the rules book. Oh, my gosh. I never even considered double dribble or illegal dribble on this play. Wow. Okay. Now I know. Now I know. Right? And I move forward. And I go to my next game, and I'm going to do the exact same thing. But now my knowledge bank has been enhanced just a little bit. And I know one more thing that's potentially illegal. But if we go in and say, look, I see stuff happening. I know that's unusual. I've never seen that before. But I'm waiting for that illegal, that I know it's illegal. And then I'll put a whistle on the play. I'm going to repeat that cycle. I had three things in my game today that happened that I don't, I didn't know, I, you know, I want clarification on. I had some uncertainty right? I didn't want to put a whistle on it because I didn't know, but I had some uncertainty. So I go, I look at those three things. Maybe I go to a Facebook group. Maybe I go to the rule, obviously go to the rules book, case book. If we have an answer, we don't. Maybe we can get some feedback from others in a Facebook group or a cohort of other young officials that you may be communicating with or a mentor or a rules interpreter uh, for your association. All of these things I get the knowledge. Now I'm better prepared. I go back out and I just do the same thing. Call what I know is illegal. Don't put a whistle on things that I don't know are illegal. And it's a great successful formula for new officials. Uh, and they just get better and better rules knowledge from the things that happen in their game. So I definitely encourage young officials to take that approach and go. Get better.